Alright, I'm back for Cube 2, and today we are on Chapter 5, The Machine, I believe. Says it, yep, right there. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's just a hole. <laughs> Thought it was something special. Okay, well, it's certainly different. Different style of room. Emma, I've emerged into a large chamber. Can you tell me how far I am from the beacon? Your altitude shows that you're about halfway there. There's a strange machine in here. I'm going to investigate it, see if it can help me find my way around this place. So I just have to choose a side and activate all three sides. <laughs> Unless these doors don't open. No, I gotta activate something first. Oh, that wasn't there before. What's this? Mouse button interact. I can't decipher this, Emma. The language is like nothing I've ever seen. There are some things I can make out in illustration. Like, it seems to be a physical transportation machine. An elevator or monorail that ascends. It's hard to understand. It's connected to the three doorways by these large cables. I wonder if it's something that can be powered, taking us towards the beacon. Has anybody else noticed the subtitles sometimes don't match up with what she's saying? What was that? I... I have no idea. But whatever it was, it seems to have turned this machine on, and it's opened one of the doors. What are you going to do? I'm gonna go I'm going through to it. Follow this cable and find out what this machine does. Be careful, Millie. What do you think I'm gonna do? Stand here and look at it? No, I'm gonna go through it. Cause I got nothing else to do. I feel like somebody's gonna be watching us the whole time. They're gonna know we're coming. It's probably a person controlling this, if I had to guess. It's just. Guesses. I have no idea what's going on in the story. Never mind. Now we're on chapter five. <laughs> we must have still been on chapter four. Whoops. These aren't recorded. Part one and two weren't recorded on the same day, so give me some slack on that. Emma, can you read me? I can. The signal's a lot better now. Good. I found what these cables are connected to. It looks like a power reactor. Do you think you can power it? Is it safe? I don't know if it's safe for sure, but it certainly does something. There are four doorways connected to it via cables. One of them seems accessible. The door behind me is also locked, so it doesn't seem like I have much choice. Okay. Follow the cable through the open door and see if there's a power source connected to it or a way to open these other rooms. Got it. There we go. Finally like get to do these something. Cables lead through to more rooms. <laughs> I'm gonna follow them. See if they connect to anything that can help power that central machine. Good idea. Let me know if you find anything useful. Okay, let's see if that lifts up. Yes, it does. Interesting little staircase there. This still makes me wish that, you know, there was like a workshop to this or something. Pretty nice. Can I stand on this and activate this? I can. I need a cube for that. Can I, can I swipe that away? Let me get that out of here. So I don't think I need that. Activate it anymore. I don't see a white service to get a cube on here. Wait, what? Was that like a one-time activation? Whatever, that's weird. Okay, so that activates that, and then this one slides that over. So we gotta actually do this first. Drop that on there. Since we get that to go across, I could then do this. Swipe that away. Brings us over. I see it still suffers from the same issue as the first game, where we'll be walking forever. It's the one thing I didn't like about the first one. Just too much, too much walking, nothing happening. Luckily, uh, I can edit it for you, but for me, I just have to sit there and go through it at normal speed. What is this? Okay, let's drop this down. Never mind. 
swipe that away for some reason. I don't know why. What does this do? Okay, that gives us partial staircase, and this gives us the other part of the staircase, I'm guessing, right? No, it activates that. Okay. So maybe if I drop this down and then push that out, we can get over here. And this might be a one-time thing. Yeah, okay. It's good to know that that's uh, a one-time thing. I wasn't paying attention earlier. Of course, you wouldn't, you wouldn't really know that just from looking at it the first time. Oh, that missed, huh? That's right, that did happen before. Why is that there? Maybe I can fling it over and block it? Nope, no, nope. wrong one. Blue there, green here, drop it, and there we go. What was the point of that? Why did it take away my stuff around that I've corner? I've seen this technology before. I wonder what it does. Well, that's cool. Totally not stopping to take a screenshot or anything for the thumbnail. Oh, I remember these things from the challenge maps in Cube. I fucking hated those. I did try them by myself once or twice, and I did not enjoy my time with them. Hey, where's the yellow... Uh, cubes. Remember how there would be like a little st fake staircase? What happened to those? Are they in this game? Maybe if I fling myself up and into this, I can go higher? Yeah, that's it. And that would just push me off. What does this do? Are you gonna jump over it? I don't know. Let's put it there. Or I could do that and not have that in the way. <laughs> that was stupid of me. Well, that was pretty easy. Like I said, I hope the difficulty picks up a bit in the later parts of the game. Because, I mean, it's nice so far because it's just like the beginning hour or so we're in, but after a while it's like, come on, you gotta give me something. I can make this here, right? Yeah. See, I don't understand why they give you so many, like, so many squares to put it on whenever the obvious one is just right there. You might as well just give me one. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe drop it. Maybe do what I did earlier. Have this here to block it. Uh, have this here and have this here. Drop it. There we go. And then we can do this and fling ourselves up onto here. What does that do? Oh, it brings that over. Well, we need... Definitely need it onto there. I can't drop anything onto that. So what would this do? Lift me up. Which, I mean, we want that. Oh, that's why. Because it's not all the way at the end. gonna push that over and this is going to lift that up so I probably need the green one here if I had to guess I don't really know and the blue one's gonna have to be here so I can fling myself up hmm. 
We do that, and then this. Oh, see, I thought that would have pushed it a bit. What if I do that instead? I mean, hey, that works. I don't know how much... Why does that go up? I guess if I stood on it all the way, I'd have time to get over there. Yeah, okay. Anything up there? I wonder if they still have the secret rooms like in the first game. I like those. Not like I know how to look for them at all in this one, but still. Oh, what's this do? Emma, that cable is connected to a terminal. It seems to have sent some form of energy back to that reactor and unlocked the other doors in this room. I'm going to check it out and follow the other cables attached to the reactor. Let's see what's behind these doors. I thought I was going to die. Report on any changes. All right, let's go this way. See what we got on this side. Is that a fan? Yeah. Stepping on it is going to activate that. And then this is going to... Put that down. Why? No. That there. Put this here. Okay. How does it help me get up there, though? If I do this? Oh, I got rid of that, you idiot. Okay, now maybe if I try it this way? If I can get in? No, it doesn't. It does block it. Okay. That was weird. Hopefully that was the way to do that. Can't really tell if that was. I could drop a green cube, but that doesn't do anything. Hmm. What happens if you stand on this? What, what does it do? Oh, it moves it. Oh, that's what I should. I, that's where I should put the green cube at. Actually, no. Put it here because we want it to be. Actually, no. Where do we want it? We could just drop it here. Yeah, that works. Okay, we'll do that. That's the obvious choice. I was being dumb. I apologize for that. <laughs> I was too too worried about the fans. Oh, hey, that's probably why. Oh, I could block it with the uh, the red one. That's right. Get rid of that. go and then we'll do this and then we'll do this we should be okay shit now we're okay oh that was pretty simple compared to the other one so now we can just go back and go through the green door Hopefully. Which is down here. Because I believe we went this way first. Or did we go through here? That's not open yet, so never mind. Well, here's somewhere new. Okay, so stepping on this activates that thing. I don't know what the hell that's for. Maybe we just push a cube along. What does this do? Drags this over. Sure, we'll do that. Maybe bounce a cube over. Then pull it back. I don't know. Why? For what reason, though? I don't understand. I mean, is that is that to, like, get up here? Oh, I see. Hmm. 
If I had it back like this... Oh, okay. So whenever it lands, it can go all the way over to the end, so I can jump up to, onto that. I see it now. There we go. It's a little confused there, but that's kind of clever. I'll give him that. And this is a one-time thing, so I can get back and forth. It takes me up here. This takes me over there. I need to make... I need to have this here, and then have this pulled out so I can land on it. Shit. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. <laughs> there we go. That's how you do it. There, now we have that one activated. Is that all of them now? I think it is. Should be able to go into that one door. What do we do here? Oh, we gotta get a cube into that. Am I stepping on something already? Wow, I wouldn't. I did not even notice that. Maybe put that there, and then do this. I don't know how that's gonna help. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, I was behind that. That's why. Oh. Well, that's not good. We don't want that. Yeah, we want to push that over. I see. Nope, want that up there. We want to put this here. Probably do that. I guess. Well, that wasn't it at all. There we go. That's... Probably not the way to do that, but hey, we did it. So now, maybe remove that. Put that here. Block that so I can bring it over. And we're going to want to put blue under this so it bounces up into that. There we go. Now the fun part. Trying to get myself up there. Which should be the same thing, but I need to get this onto here. Oh, that... Wait, that... I can't get through it on that way? Was it because I had that there and it's in the way? That way there. Let's try that again. Maybe if I had to stand directly onto that, oh. Okay, let's stand directly here. Let's drop this. Okay, that was that was the problem. I wasn't standing directly on it because I didn't want to land on the blue that I had here. So now we can go through ourselves. There we go. So far, I know I'm only two two episodes in. Much more enjoyable than the first game. What is that? This reactor seems to be fully powered and is sending something back to that machine. I'm gonna check it out. Alright, back in the main room now. Emma? From what I can tell, this machine is powered by a third, and another door connected to it has opened. How fascinating. Okay, Millie, I trust your judgment. Let's see if it actually works as you think when all thirds are powered. I'm on it. Chapter 6, Fragile Dreams. Another reactor. Let's get this thing powered. Yeah, let's do that. Because what else will we do in this cube? I'll probably do like maybe one or two more rooms and then I'll call it an episode. Because I've been going for about a half an hour now. 
This is before editing. So I usually try to make it as convenient as possible to watch. Wonder what these are used for. Probably, you know, to power something. It is a generator after all. Oh, never mind. You're talking about that. Well, this is different. Look at that. Similar to the first game. So I guess I do fling myself up on here. Is that going to fling me? Let's see. That'd be pretty cool if it does. <laughs> it does. I like that. The only thing I don't like is that animation whenever you land. It's getting pretty annoying to sit there and wait for it to finish. That's going to go forward. What does this do? Oh, it turns it. Okay, so now we do that. Can I see it from this angle? No, I cannot. If I fling myself over onto this. So we put that as blue. Why do we need that there, though? What is that? How does that help us? Maybe if I can turn this now and then put it down. Maybe it'll put us right on there. There we go. We fling ourselves this way. I do actually like those a lot. Reminds me of Faith Plates, but just a little more interactive, which I don't mind at all. Okay, so that goes up. That also goes up. This is going to flip. Maybe set this down and drop a green cube on it. Never mind, it goes right over it. I was not expecting that. <laughs> so we gotta put this up to block it and drop it down on this one. Let's do that. Then we redo it from the top. Just like that, so we can go across and we drop that, stand on this. Nice. Then we lift it back up to walk across that. Hmm. Not bad at all. Emma, can I ask you a question? What would you like to know? So many things are running through my mind. I mean, you were sent to destroy that extraterrestrial object, right? I was, as were many. So... How did we develop this manipulation technology? We tracked the vessel for years since it entered the solar system, intercepting signals from it, decoding them. We learned about its structure, but not its host. And you use this data to what? Develop this technology I'm wearing? It was going to kill everyone on Earth, Millie. It was an invasion. Sorry. I just... I just need to orient myself. That's all. You've got to admit, this situation is somewhat out of the ordinary. I know. This journey, it's not what I expected either, Millie. Hmm, this one is actually stumping me a bit here. So I can take that back. Uh, it's, it doesn't really help me at the moment. Is there something I'm missing? Because I checked under here and there was nothing. Unless I didn't move myself far enough back to be flung over there. That's a possibility. No, I still hit that. Oh, you know what? No, I see it now. I see what you want me to do. I could probably have been up there whenever I did that, so let me go back onto that. I guess, would it really matter? No, it wouldn't. Okay, whatever. Bring this over. I want to look at it from this angle anyways. Drop that down, so that's there. And you're going to bring this back, and then you're going to fling it up onto this one. I was so curious as to why that was there. Could not figure that out. There we go. So now we move that back. 
Nope, we can keep that there. Never mind. I'm stupid. Now I fling ourselves on there. Like so. And now I move this over. Now we have the height to jump up here. Oh, it's a Q on the ground. Oh, it rotates. Okay, I remember these now. Yeah, just like the first game. Rotates it. There's a fan here. Maybe if I fling myself up into this, I can get over up here. Maybe rotate this around. Is there another fan here? Oh, it's just one big fan in general, right? Okay. See, I thought it was. I thought this was moving around, and the fan was stuck in the floor. So if I just do it this way, should be able to get enough momentum. Here we go. The hell was that? My mouse is like freaked out. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Uh, put that down. So then I can fling myself with this. There we go. Bring it this way. Oh, I, I really like this mechanic, actually. Bring it the other way. Oh, it doesn't do that. It does this way, though. Bring it up here so I can walk along the edge. And then... Do that. Straighten that out. Yeah, okay, you sold me on those. I like those a lot. Oh, we got another statue to talk to. No, I don't think it's humane to knock her away. She needs medical attention. And she needs to be looked after. You don't know what you're dealing with, James. So just do me a favor and drop the management bullshit. There it is. Okay, let's power these other rooms. Next episode.